Let's go to Sumter now. Nick Jones is standing by. And Nick, I understand there's a tree on a car. Is that what you found? Yes, that's exactly right, Jay. I'm going to go ahead and step out of the way so you can go ahead and see that. Obviously, the wind's been a problem in this area, and a lot of it's been because of the wind gust that's been going through here. Obviously, Charlotte Air Force Base had about 45 mile per hour wind yesterday, but this tree fell down on this car at this home off of Chestnut Street here in, near downtown Sumter. And right now, I'm joined with Jonathan, who's the homeowner here. Just tell me a little bit what you were experiencing last night. Um, about 10 o'clock last night, the wind and rain started picking up, and we heard a loud thud. I was on the other end of the house and uh, woke my wife up. And we came outside and saw the tree was laying across the power line and had landed in the yard on top of her car. And was this something, I mean, you were, you know, expecting, obviously, we've been talking about this uh, hurricane tropical storm for a while. Uh, we'd had some issues with some trees coming down uh, during the last hurricane. And um, I've lived in Sumter through Hugo and everything. We didn't think it was going to be this bad this early on. We're still kind of holding out for uh, things that are going to be happening later this evening. You know, a lot of people obviously are, you know, wondering at home, you know, is everybody okay? Is the home okay and that kind of deal? Everybody's fine. The home doesn't look like it's taken on any damage, and the car, oddly enough, doesn't look like it has any major damage either. But everybody's safe. Um, no issues. And, you know, this is just the beginning. I mean, obviously we had the, the, st the stuff kind of started last night for you, but we still got a little bit more to go. How does that kind of make you feel? Are you worried about it at all? Um, I wasn't worried before. I'm a little bit more worried now, but we're just going to hold in place and hope for the best. Is there anything that, I guess, uh, you know, going through the circumstances, is there anything you're, I guess, thankful for right now? Uh, just glad the family's safe. I got a one-year-old inside, and this is her first big event like this, and luckily nothing's happened. Um, got family that left from out of town because they were here for the flood, and uh, just thankful everybody's okay. For sure. Thanks, Jonathan. Obviously, this is just the beginning. We've been covering this all day, but I know there's some more trees that have fallen in the area. And this, obviously, this is a uh, over a hundred year old home here in uh, you know downtown Sumter area. So this is just a little bit of what we're seeing so far. And this is why the city officials are asking folks just to stay indoors because you don't know what debris that could be falling your way. Nick, let me ask you a quick question. Um, that tree is down on that car on Chestnut Street. What about the rest of the street? Do you see any more damage? Is this sporadic situations going on over there or what? We haven't had a necessarily a theme as far as what trees are falling in what areas because it's been kind of spread throughout the county. But obviously this area, it's a, it's a, a, you know, a, a historic neighborhood. There's a lot of different trees around the area. You can see a little bit of debris in other parts if you look in the street. Now, not so much this street, but in other parts on some of the side streets, there's a lot of branches that have been uh, laid on the ground. Uh, but I think right down the road uh, near Calhoun Street, there's another tree that fell down that area but that's what we know right now um, you know obviously there's been things going on in the back roads but not so much has been happening so far at least in downtown Sumter so far all right thank you so much keep up the good work